very quickly running out of regen, but his bottle should be coming up pretty shortly. So this DK should be fine. Lift up onto the Bounty Hunter, and he is going to go down with the dust. He has shield on him. That's not going to hold, though. He'll pop the super's right click. And this is the Bounty Hunter getting a little bit too confident. I mean, he's, as long as the Bounty Hunter is here, DK doesn't really have much to fear. He's not really having the best time in the world versus Storm Spirit, but I mean, this is pretty much DK in a nutshell, right? You have an okay time every time, and now the lift up with the spin at the ready. Yank's going to shield himself. It's not going to save him. They do take him down, but at the same time, on the top lane, looks like they're able to glimpse back. No, no glimpse. Like, Dogfights is coming in fast. By fast, I mean fast. He's actually going to go in straight towards the Storm Spirit. Breathe Fire is there, but they need a lot of right clicks. And I'm not sure if those right clicks are in the book right now. They're going to pop Dogfights with the glimpse back. A couple more right clicks on the Storm Spirit. Sakata's damage is not quite high enough. And now the Shrine just for Rubbins, as Ori's going to slip out of there. They got jabated so hard. TP coming in from Yang as well. HYM getting no experience from that. I don't know. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it seems like he should have gotten some XP from that. That lane right now, only level 5. Level 5 versus level 5. I think Juggernaut comes out on that one on top because he has spin. Another lift up onto the Storm Spirit, this time with the Chilling Touch. And look at the difference in damage. Sakata also had that uh, Dragon Tail. Which he didn't use earlier. Brawls you can get him with the Ancient Apparition, the better you're going to be. Now they're going to try to crack a different nut in the Abaddon. Lifts him up with the Chilling Touch. The damage is high. He has a shield for himself with the Breathe Fire. They seal the deal. Yang down now. Environment to thrive. They also need this to not happen again. They're going to freeze the Abaddon on top of that Dragon Tail. And he's going to get a shield off, yes. But I don't think he's surviving this one. Dragon form just to get that last hit. Now, I like how they're giving mid lane to someone else. Storm Spirit is not the fastest jungler in the world, but he's competent. So he will be able to get income elsewhere, leaving the mid lane free to an ally. And Ori, what are you doing? Okay, he's just going to suicide. He has backup here, but they don't really do that much damage. He's going to jump in towards Sakata anyway. The Earth is coming in. That's why they're doing it. They're going to grab Sakata. Dog fights. Glimpse back into the clutches of the bear. Rip. Rubik. And that actually worked out pretty well. Uh, it seemed like IGV were kind of where Abaddon is behind enough to consider going for that coil over the uh, over the blade. And now he's going to get stunned up. He has no borrowed time, but he's just going to hit level 6 off of this one. And they got jabated again. Sakata get a torn up by end. They pull back dogfights. They have a glimpse as well. All they need is the sight, and they have that as well. Super down in a couple seconds. There you go. End gets a double. J -j baited Yeah, the... Uh, I... I the only thing that's not going really well for Vici is the fact that uh, their Bounty Hunter isn't level 6 yet. It is getting to... Oh, well, they found in July. Got him. They're going to Static Storm, keep TDC a little bit safe for Paparazzi, but he still gets lifted up, so he is going to go down here. Two dogfights. Oh, well. It's a worthwhile exchange. Get end a kill on, on the map. So HYM's, like, again, his roaming life is very difficult just matchup-wise. He's been kind of counterplayed around every single time. And speaking of, sentry drops. They see a bounty hunter. He's going to get frozen? No, just burst it down. Okay. Well, that works too, I guess. He has a tome. He's level 5. So this is where IGV have to keep their vision up. This is where they have to keep their split push game up. We have an observer ward spotted out with HYM in the area. Jump in towards dogfights. It was a bait the entire time. I'm going to say it was. They're going to jump in for super as well. You track him up, and he's going to go down. Now into the TP and heroes. Sakata's going to get pulled right back. Great vacuum onto three heroes. But Yang's pop our time. The only kill that died there has an Aegis. So Sakata now tracked up. He's going to get glimpsed right back into the clutches of Fuzzy Wuzzy. Sakata down. Paparazzi in July. Charging forward, knowing that Rubik can back them up. But this is still up against five heroes. They have to be careful about not getting too far they have to worry about Disruptor Static Storm jamming their combos up. And of course, the Baden as well. The, the order gets a little bit taller. Still, sentries are up. This is what Dragon Knight does, right? Pop Dragon Form. Poke Towers. HYM is testing for vision right now. He's going to find some, but at what cost? <laughs> Good job, guys. We found the sentry boards. I'm not really sure. So maybe Sakata knows that something's up. Or maybe not. Blink in. Earth Shock. Sakata's going to get some help here from the Telekinesis. Static Storm still drops with the Kinetic Field. They're going to catch a Dragon Knight just on the edge. He's going to get a huge ball ending and coming in from Ori. Finds the Rubik. Pulls him and assassinates him as well. Vacuum back. Omni Slash onto end. Not quite enough. And now the Slash is 
from end is gonna tear paparazzi down ice blast coming in but it's not gonna be on the mark end is gonna survive in july is here with the ice fact onto yang so he will be pretty confident here, but there is a storm spirit in the background they're not dealing with. Ori's out of mana, doesn't matter, gets the kill anyway. Jump back in for in July, and is gonna get another one. And Ori is left alone the entire fight. A four for one. But Ori just slayed the back line while the rest of his team slayed the front line. If you have no back line and no front line, you're pretty screwed. I'm not really sure if middle line is a thing, I'm gonna say it's not. They will still group up around this dragon form, take a tower, find the Abaddon, he does have a hood though, so he's very tanky, jump back in, dog fights, is going to get a shield on himself, so he'll be just fine, jump in now towards the Ancient Apparition, they will kill him off first, Static Storm, Connect Field Combo, not quite good enough, but they do have Sakata alone in the corner, and is not on top of him though, so the damage might not be high enough, I'm just going to kill off the Abaddon, off to the side, as always going to try to teleport out of there, stuns, disables, and they don't need it, they have enough burst damage to kill off that storm, he's back up immediately because of Bloodstone, but that's only a kill onto the Ancient Apparition. We can see the start. Maybe they can set up a kill with the Storm Spirit. In July, track up. They see him with the ward as well. And they'll pull him back. Damage, though, isn't quite that high. They have a little bit of extra burst. Dogfight still has the shield. And with the glimpse, they will be able to kill off in July's Dark Seer. Vacuum. The, sh the shell. Oh, it's going to be enough with the pop of the shield. Rubik getting two of them off there. Now going to pick a fight with DDC. Ice Blast coming in. But, uh, you know, every time it does happen like that, they're going to be extremely happy. This is something they're going to be a little bit less happy about. The fact that... Oh, they actually found a target. Bounty Hunter down. No tracks coming in. It's a Bounty Hunter with Hood as well. See how much of that matters. Again, IGV have been really good about keeping up those sentries. Now they're going to smoke in for more. VG have Blink Daggers. They have Aegis. They will see dogfights and is going to go into the trees. He's going to pick a fight, but gets stunned immediately. He's going to pop his ultimate. Static Storm is going to be used, but it will not do all that much. We'll catch Rubik in the end. So he's going to go down in July looking for a vacuum. Angle will get it off on the four heroes' wall as well. The Ice Blast is a little bit late, but they will take out the Aegis and knock the Ursa down very low. They will kill off. That was actually Yang. My bad. Stuck in the middle of that engagement. Great turnaround there from in July. HYM just getting picked off every single time. They're going to dust up. It'll miss. <clears throat> Observer sentry combo. They do jump in up towards the north on the Disruptor. Well, I said earlier, one of the more important heroes on the VG squad. Not sure if they could do anything off of this, but it's a kill. Spirit has the luxury of initiation. Courier is going to be coming in. They are going to go into the woods and find Super at the same time. Jump in for the Rubik, and he's down in an instant. They're going to take him down. H. Apparition does get his ultimate off. Big vacuum back into a wall with Sakata just right clicking in. And they start to lag up. They have lost no one so far, VG. Sakata's holding strong with his full BKB duration, full HP. They'll take down the Abaddon. Where's the Storm Spirit? Where's the Earth? So they need to get in on this DK. They're going to try to do it right now. Enemy time. Going for Super. They take him down in the background. As N now going to change his target towards Sakata. Who'll take out the Storm Spirit beforehand. But will lose his life immediately afterwards. And now they're on to the last. It's a full team wipe in favor of VG. As IGV get caught in the middle of one too many heroes. That was a fantastic vacuum wall from the Darks here. Pretty much perfect. But with no immediate damage, no immediate lockdown afterwards, just not quite enough. The ability to assassinate that Rubik, again, the luxury of initiation for the Storm Spirit, the big one. HYM spotting out once again, and much like before, gets punished by detection. Is there a gem there? Seems like there should be, yeah, a gem on the Darkseer. Bounty Hunter survived the last fight, got a couple of track kills. I think two at the... Have him tell Kinesis, should he find someone? Like an Abaddon? I don't know, maybe. Jump in, Dragon Tail, onto the Storm Spirit. Where's the help? Needs, a sh needs some help right now. It's too late. He's going to BKB, then die. That's not what you want. And his BKB up as well. But they know they don't have enough damage to do this, so they will just leave. Sakata didn't even need to pop his BKB. He's going to blink forward, looking for someone. We'll find very little. Find Yang in his base? Can they kill him here? He's a bad, I'm not really sure about that one. But Storm Spirit down with no buyback is an absolutely bit more difficult because they know that they will mess with, have a couple heroes to fight them. 
Kata's gonna run right in, looking for End. Gonna get glimpsed out. End is gonna pop his BKB, go straight to work on the paparazzi. Damage dealt though, very minimal. Now the Omni Slash is gonna keep him safe further as the vacuum does pull back three. Static Storm does absolutely jack all. Ursa's still in this fight, still pretty healthy. Storm Spirit is low on mana though, after taking down dogfights in the back. End getting right clicked down by Sakata. Damage dealt to the Ursa, now starting to stack up and will be enough to take him down. Field goes up one more time. Yang stuck in the middle of it with the borrow time. Won't die just yet, but I'm not really sure how he gets out of the clutches of this dragon. And is going to buy back. Glimpse back now onto Paparazzi. Field goes up with the jump in back from the Storm Spirit. Paparazzi going to Manta style straight through the field, in fact. He'll be just fine. DK, maybe not as lucky. He'll try to armlet surf his way out of this. That's not going to happen. Double damage now picked up by the Storm. To solidify this, Roshan. One buyback expense there in a two for two exchange. I think it's worth it. Smoke up. I don't know if IGV are going to expect it to happen here. Smoke will be blown. HYM is going to see absolutely everyone. Static Storm onto the DK. No BKB in this fight. Can they focus him down in time? He's taking a lot of hits. And it looks like it will be just enough to kill him off. Wall does drop. Make a lot of illusions. But Storm Spirit is now going to let loose onto Super. Gets lifted up out of the kill. Now Yang can just stay on this front line because he's in a bad end. Jump in. Baited Sakata in. Into a Static Storm. But this time he has BKB up. And that will be a Static Storm completely wasted. They cannot fight this. They have to sacrifice Yang. He'll use Borrowed Time, but again, that Ice Effect means that he's taking no damage. Uh, taking no healing, rather, from all this damage. And he will go down as well. Sakata going to blink forward. Predicted that perfectly. This one, but I'm not really sure if they have 30 seconds. They need 50 if they're going to fight at full strength. Jump in long from the Storm Spirit. Looking at the DK, but he's so tanky. They can't just kill him like that. They need end of him down and or at the exact same time. Omni Slash now going to stun and kill the Storm Spirit. Sakata going to jump in, stun and kill the Ursa maybe. Maybe not. Ori's going to jump in, find dogfights. Yule Scepter going to waste his time though as Ori trying to zip away. Ball Lightning now stolen by the Rubik. They froze the Ursa. They'll take him down. He has no buyback. That's GG. VG standing on a knife's edge for a good portion of that game. Gonna end up losing the Abaddon with a Static Storm Whiffed at the exact worst time. IGV are gonna claim victory here in this game too. Again, they're looking for the slow grindy game and that's exactly what we had here. A game where VG, they tried to snowball, couldn't quite make it happen. And that is going to lead to a third game, which should be coming up soon, guys. I'm Mike Lohr. It's been a pleasure casting these games for you. I'll be right back for the third and final game between IGV and Fiji Gaming.